Hello yet again for another Duskiorum, in which we look at extremely old, in fact nearly ancient, DOS and Windows 90X games. 90X, is that the correct way to say it? Probably. Or maybe not. I have no idea. Anyway, <clears throat> today we're looking at yet another uh, Breakout clone. You know, even more like Breakout than Break Free was. Oh, so many breaks. Fortunately, it's not got Break in the title. It's indeed called... Um, as evidenced by the thing that I'm going to type into this um, let me just remember, yes it's called Aquanide. strange thing about this is that every other game that I've shown has been on my dad's old Aptiva and yet this one strangely enough it was always at my granddad's house on his computer I don't understand that, I have no idea where he got it from or anything like that because he didn't exactly have the best internet connection until recently anyway, let's play the damn game I think if we just put in Aquanide nope, Aqua, hey there we go Yep, it's PC speaker all the way this one, 1992, so, well, I was about to say, they hadn't really got proper music, but having said that, Wolfenstein 3D had uh, ad-lib stuff, didn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. Anyway, we've got things sparkling at the top of the screen, I can't move my cursor above the Aquanoid logo. Well, I call it a logo, it's a bit uh, basic, shall we say. Click here for help, I'll do that. Oh, come on, a new star is born. We'll find out why that isn't particularly true. New standards in shareware action games. Wolfenstein 3D was made in the same year, come on now. Anyway, it tells you um, all what all the bricks are. So, each colour brick gives you different amount of points. And I know that orange brick seems to give you no points at all, which isn't very nice. The Titan one, I think, is the one that you can't break. Cracker is the one that you can break if you hit it enough times. Um, and Shooter and X Shooter are ones that you have to shoot. And you can see at the bottom all the power-ups and stuff. There are three different colours. And what the hell does that say? Never mind. Um, <laughs> I just saw something funny in the uh, middle thing. If you watch it back, then you'll be able to see. Um, anyway. Let's uh, s actually start the damn game. You may notice that the text is pink, and I can't remember how to change it. One player. Can't start for another few seconds. Oh yeah, we have to send $20, or 20 Deutschmarks, apparently, to... Wow. That address looks almost incomplete. Okay. And you can only find them on weekends, which is inverse to many businesses. 150 sensational levels. Dear me. Anyway, yeah, shareware, so uh, this isn't illegal at all. As far as I know, I have looked it up, and there is apparently no way to get the proper full version or anything. Which is a shame, because I'd like to see the rest of the levels, and uh, see what the amazing VGA game is that they offer. Okay, let's press A key. The first quest. I always thought this looked like a sofa, but... Um, it doesn't really, does it? It looks more like, well, half of a bullseye. If you right click, you can change which direction the ball goes. It only goes in one of four directions, as you will notice when I fire it, which I will do now. Bam. Oh, yeah, PC speaker nonsense all the way here. Now, you see underneath the score, there's those uh, things, little silvery things. They are how many nudges you have. If you press space, the ball changes direction, which is rather good, but you only have a certain number, and I don't remember how to get more. Um, and underneath that you'll see that there's a block that keeps changing colour. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by some PC speaker gibberish, there's this little grey block that changes colour all the time. 
Um, that has a reason. If I just show you, when you get a power up, it will light up. So you see, it's red now. That means it's a bad power up that you should not pick up, which is kind of redundant. Ouch! I just blew up. Green, of course, is a good power up, and yellow is yeah, an average power up that might be good depending on your circumstances. How the hell did I miss that? I am terrible at this game. Right, let's continue. Oh, we got the sticky thing, I think. Ugh. I think this is only hold once. Yes, that's right. That uh, power up that I picked up before, that was the level skip power up, that uh, grey X. There's, that's the one that slows down time. That's the shooty gun! Yay! God damn it. I'm probably going to have to start again at, at some stage because I'll lose all my lives. We're only on level 002 as well. Ugh, that's that C reverses your controls, which is freakishly annoying. Deary me. And often, because the ball only travels in one of four directions, you'll get just instances where it'll just circle around the screen for ages. Fortunately, it doesn't travel very fast, but um, if you've been playing for a while, like the same level, then it does just speed up. And it doesn't, it's not a gradual thing either, it just speeds up instantaneously, which defies all known physics. Come on, four more blocks, oh dear me, I hate it when breakout games do this. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Which way is it going to go? Hey, there we go. I don't know what calculation they go by when they give you points right at the end of the level. Just seems to give you loads. Living in a box! Ah, here's some that won't break under any circumstances other than if you get a special power up. Ah! I just picked up the one that gives you double points for everything. I think it's called Jewel, but this one's better because it tears through things. Like a butter knife through some. Ouch. Oh, that was a weak joke anyway. Cheers, game. Ooh, ah. oh. I can just imagine playing this on the high DPI setting on my mouse. Oh, V gives you an extra life. K. Oh, well, this. No. There are three colours for certain power ups, and I think. Um, there's a brown K and a purple K and an orange K and I think the orange K actually gives you the power to smash through the unbreakable blocks come on oh I was torn which one to go for then oh damn and I missed that on the blinking launch come on hit the damn block damn oh come on Oh, come on. <laughs> right, hey, there we go. My nudge worked. That was quite a gambit. June bug? With a question mark. They can't seem to work it out, and neither can I, because that looks nothing like anything. I must say, these types of games are quite satisfying when you manage to do stuff like this. They just knock out three or four blocks at a time, and then you get a shooty gun. Oh, and then you skip a level. Bam. Oh, I hate this level. Yeah, you can see there are a lot of blocks that don't break, but end up breaking after you hit them enough times, like that one just did. There we go. Oh. Power-ups don't drop from them blocks. <sighs> oh, I don't want to get that, that'll send me back a level. Although that could be a tactic if you wanted to rack up loads of points, although quite why you want to do that, I have no idea. Because obviously there are no high online high score leaderboardy things. That one that just passed by makes your ball go invisible. Ah yes, this is the infinite hold on to ball sticky paddle thing power up which is so useful I think I might keep hold of this actually unless a shooty gun comes along <sighs> dum -da -dum -da -dum. do you want to know what it looks like when you pause the game I hope
hope you weren't epileptic, actually. I should put a warning at the start of the video, shouldn't I? Um, not really much to talk about at this stage, like many of the games that I've already covered. Like, hmm. Not a lot to say. Oh, no, that'll kill me, I think. Ah, that'll give me an extra life, though. Arr. Come on. <sighs> I suppose if you're really, really bored, like if you're at work or something, then this would be... There, there we go, the ball's just sped up now. Oh. You see, it's almost impossible to catch once it speeds up. Fortunately, we've just been given an extra life. Um, yeah, if you're at school or work or wherever and you're really bored out of your tree, then uh, stick this on. Because at least it's summer. You could probably masquerade the um, this PC speaker sound effects for saying that you're on Windows 95 or something. What am I on about? I couldn't play this at work. Because you get more bored than you are already. Although, to be fair, it's not that boring, it's just a bit, um, how should I put it, shallow, I think is the best uh, word. Strawberry fields, hooray, there's a strawberry and this one's going to actually be easy to complete because there's no silly blocks that you have to smack a few times in order to actually break. What is going on with the background? That's hideous. Oh, oh yay, double score. Oh. Oh, bums. Hooray! Skip the level. Pack it. How come these things always have old Pac-Man references in them? Cheesy Invaders had it as well. Come on. He's got weird teeth as well, that's a bit worrying. It's like that uh, Pac-Man board game. I'll put a link to uh, a very good video covering that, actually. Yes! I'm just going to shoot everything because I care not for score. Arrgh. Bang. Shootings. Boom, 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 boom. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, come on, I had that one. Oh. There was no way for me to do that, was there? Okay, jewel. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got another nudge. I just realised. Ugh, I might have to use some of them. Oh, there's the uh, the one that gives you three lives, the power-up. Ouch. And I lose one instantaneously. <gasps> hey! Finally. Use the... Oh, my goodness. I remember this level being pretty dull as well. Yeah, look at all them unbreakable blocks. Oh. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That's going to be a lot of use, isn't it, on this level? Well, it's generic. I'll put it. I'll put it that way. Thing is, though, I can't think of a better breakout game on PC. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. That power-up that was just uh, falling down the screen then was the one that gives you a metal floor underneath your paddle. Annoyingly, if you get that and the ball hits the metal floor, you'll actually lose points. Oh, come on. I think it's stuck. In fact, if I leave my paddle there, yeah. Nudge. There we go. I don't think those nudge things are a tactical thing. I think they're just because the ball will get stuck in this game rather often. And I've just had an email. Goddamn emails. Disturbing my videos. I'm pretty sure it was a reply to a tweet that I made weeks ago as well. Oh, I thought the ball was stuck then. Oh, 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 oh. here we go. Gimme, give gimme. Give gotcha. Right, oh. Oh. Well, that worked. Oh. There we go. And I'll just do. Hey! Did it. Titanic. 
I don't understand what this has to do with Titanic. Is that like, is this thing the bow of the ship? Bow, is that a uh, correct term? I don't know. And uh, this is the iceberg? No idea. Also, what is the deal with the background? Sorry. <laughs> Zuduf Ard, Zuduf Ard. Is that a reference to uh, Wolfenstein 3D? Ard Wolf. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Such a weird background, isn't it? Such a weird level. Anyway, it's like that first level, except with more unbreakable blocks. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Screw you, unbreakable blocks. Problem with the um, this power up is that it quite often doesn't hit anything because it doesn't bounce. Well, it just bounce obviously off the edges, but not um, off the blocks, and that is surprisingly um, not a good thing. Hey, finally, and we've just got all our. I've just got all mine. I'm just like, what the heck is that at the bottom? Get the scissors. Countersign for following level certificate. That doesn't make a single lick of sense. Oh. They're really stretching for ideas now, aren't they? It's a pair of scissors. I'm pretty sure one of the uh, later levels is a tomb. With like a Jesus cross on it. Oh. Yeah, oh! The problem with this kind of game in general is that it's kind of tedious. Oh dear, everything's slowed down. Well, I suppose that's not a bad thing really. Let's get that and then instantly lose the life that we just got. Good grief, what is this? Why are there vines in the background? Kind of looks like the sea, actually. If it was, uh, if it was Fallout, maybe that's what the background is. Maybe it's just a load of uh, congealed nuclear waste. Oh, I really don't want that power down. Hooray! Oh, that one makes it just come straight back to the bat. Hey, shooty gun. I think this is the... Oh, no. I was going to say that's the most basic shooty gun, but it's not. Oh, I should have kept the gun, shouldn't I? I highly doubt I'm going to lose all these lives. I mean, look, I've got eight now. Oh, another gun. Never have too many. Apparently you can have too many. The game begs to differ. Oh, come on, give me a skip level. Oh, uh, somebody's contacted me on Steam. Damn it, man. Whoever it is on Steam. I live in the 90s. I don't use Steam. Uh, okay. I'm going to try and show you as much of this game as I can while my will to live fades. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this, but at the same time, it's kind of... Oh, could be playing somewhat better, you know? Oh, we just got another life. Hooray! I keep saying we when I really mean I, because I am the one who's playing. It's very strange. <coughs> A lot of YouTubers do that, actually. Hooray, I'm dead. Except we just lost it instantly for some reason. What? Because I'm not concentrating because that person on Steam keeps poking me. Oh! Well, if I keep making mistakes like that, at least uh, this won't last for very long. Bling! Goodness gracious, we've been playing for 21 minutes. According to the recording thing in the background. Bling. Da, 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 da. Right. Come on. 
Give me an X. No, that's a H. I said an X. I know they're similar, but uh, there we go. Oh yeah, this is the one that makes you skip loads of levels. When you're quite done. This is Black Man. Yeah, there we go. Hang on a minute, that's a bit... This is Black Man. Is that a reference to something? Hmm. Get the feeling there's some um, racism going on here. Dear me. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought I got something bad then, but I didn't. That's good. Who can tell me who Black Man is? Black Man without a C. Oh. Hey. Very nice. Very tasty, as uh, Wayne Norris would say. Ooh, ah. Oh! Alright, I'll do this level and the next level and then I'm done. How's that? Because I bet you're all getting really bored now. I've got nothing to say, it's just the same over and over again. Ouch. I reckon I'm going to lose all my lives, actually. Unless I get that. I'll just show you. Yes, you'll notice I lost a lot of points then. Like, 1,200, was it? It's not very fair. Yeah, 1,200. Just for that hit in the uh, silver thing. It's supposed to be a power up, not a power down. My high scores are important. They're as important as calls are to uh, mobile phone companies, I suppose. They're as important as the people are to Verizon, judging by uh, their recent um, plans, shall we say, to start charging lots of people lots of money, or else they'll get banned from the network or something like that. I'll try and find a link to the thing that said something similar to that. Anyway, it's pretty nasty what they're doing. I feel sorry for you Americans, actually. If you, if there are any Americans watching this, um, I would recommend you start a petition of some description to get GIFGAF to the US because they are an excellent uh, phone network here in the UK because they offer ridiculously good rates and are generally particularly spiffing people. You know what, I could just not move my bat and uh, this would be super easy. I'd lose a lot of points but I don't really care. Come on. Shall I skip this bit? I think I will. Right. Back again. This one's called Backfired, and this is the last level that I'm doing because this video's gone on long enough. Whoa. Oh, yeah, those are them uh, shooty blocks, aren't they? The ones that you have to get a gun for and then shoot, and oh dear, I've lost. The game over screen's very nice, although it doesn't have anything to do with the game, it's just um, flying through space. <laughs> Could make a good screensaver, that. Hmm. Uh, disregard those high scores. I might have to blow them out, actually. They're a bit uh, embarrassing, shall I say. There we are. And that was Aquanoid. Made by someone called Carsten Finger. What a great name. Anyway, join me next week for more Civ nonsense. I think the Civ 4 Extra series is nearly done. Um, the Civ 4... Pericles series is nearing completion. I think we've got four, three or four episodes left of that. And I think next week on Duskurum I will do a hang on, I'm going to check the CD actually a 2000 Pac-Man game for Windows. Yes, good. I think that'll be perfect. Or maybe I should do the Space Invaders game. If you want to uh, contact me on Twitter, actually, then uh, 
I will be happy to call a vote for it. Until next time then, bye bye. <laughs>